helping kids prepare for their first sleepovers. Sleepovers are a treasured part of childhood for many kids, offering a chance to build friendships, experience independence, and create lasting memories. Yet, for parents and children alike, preparing for that first sleepover can bring a mix of excitement and apprehension. Whether it's a night at a friend's house or with relatives, a bit of preparation can go a long way in making sure kids feel secure, ready, and have a great experience. Here are key steps and tips for helping kids prepare for their first sleepover. 1. Gauge their readiness. Every child is different, and while some kids feel ready for a sleepover at 6 or 7, others may need a few more years to feel comfortable. Start by having a conversation with your child about sleepovers, and ask them how they feel about spending a night away from home. If they seem hesitant, try smaller steps before committing to a full overnight stay. Maybe a long evening visit where they return before bedtime could be a good stepping stone. Be open to their feelings and recognize that it's okay if they aren't quite ready yet. 2. Build confidence through mini sleepovers at home. Practicing the experience at home is a helpful way to build your child's confidence. Set up a mini sleepover with siblings or friends in the comfort of your living room. Let them pack a bag with essentials, such as pajamas, a toothbrush, and a favorite stuffed animal. Go through a nighttime routine similar to what they might expect at a friend's house. This way, kids can get used to the idea of sleeping in a different room and understand what to expect in terms of routines and what they'll need to feel comfortable. 3. Address common worries. It's normal for kids to have worries about sleeping away from home, such as fear of the dark, unfamiliar routines, or homesickness. Address these concerns openly and reassure them that feeling a bit anxious is completely normal. You could talk through strategies, like bringing a comforting item from home, or letting them know it's okay to call home if they feel the need. Knowing they can contact you if necessary often provides a safety net that calms their anxieties. 4. Pack smart for comfort and reassurance. Help your child pack for the sleepover with a focus on comfort. Essentials typically include pajamas, a toothbrush, and any other nighttime necessities. But it's also a good idea to include a few personal items that bring comfort, like a small blanket, a favorite stuffed animal, or even a familiar storybook. Letting kids pack these items reassures them that they have a bit of home with them which can ease nerves and help them settle more easily. 5. Review manners and house rules. Being away from home means learning to adapt to someone else's household rules. Take a few minutes to talk with your child about expected behaviors, such as saying please and thank you, respecting other people's belongings, and following house rules. Remind them to ask permission before doing things like using the bathroom or taking snacks. These gentle reminders help kids feel more confident navigating someone else's space and show respect to their hosts. 6. Communicate with the host parents. Before the sleepover, check in with the host parents. Ask about any specific house rules or routines and let them know if your child has any special needs, such as dietary restrictions, allergies, or nighttime routines. Knowing more about what your child can expect during their stay helps you reassure them, and being aware of any safety or health concerns helps the host parents feel better prepared as well. 7. Be ready for the unexpected. Even with the best preparation, there's always a chance that your child may need to come home early. Sometimes kids get anxious, miss home, or simply find it difficult to sleep in a new environment. Let your child know that it's okay if they want to come home and let the host parents know that it's fine to call you if your child becomes too uncomfortable. Sometimes just knowing that leaving is an option helps kids settle and enjoy the experience more. 8. Debrief after the sleepover. Once your child returns home, take some time to talk about their experience. Ask them what they enjoyed most, and if there was anything that made them feel uncomfortable or uncertain. Positive conversations help them feel proud of this step toward independence, while discussions about any challenges they faced can help them be better prepared for next time. 9. Encourage gradual independence. Sleepovers can be an important milestone in fostering independence. 
Encourage your child to gradually take on more independence by allowing them to participate in decisions about what to pack, how they want to prepare, and how they handle any worries. Building these skills bit by bit helps them grow more confident not just in sleepovers, but in other aspects of their lives as well. In the end, the key to a successful first sleepover is making sure that both you and your child feel prepared. By building up confidence, addressing worries, and creating open lines of communication, you're setting the stage for a positive and enjoyable experience. Sleepovers are often the start of cherished memories and friendships, and with a little preparation, your child will be ready for a night of fun and adventure.